Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. In this episode I'm going to continue chapter 9, uh, sorry, sector 9 of the Code Hunt game, starting with the fifth task, at which I did not look before. Um, we have to solve, oh, at first we have to switch back to Java because I'm trying to do this in Java even though I might have to fall back to C-sharp now and then again to get the full skill rating because apparently in this sector it's very hard to get the full skill rating in Java. Um, and I see that problem coming up again this time because I already know how I could implement this in a very concise way in C-sharp. Whereas, I guess, I need to resolve to a loop again to do this, the same thing in uh, Java, which is we create an array of size n, and then we go in a loop and say int i equals zero, i smaller than n, i plus plus, and we set result i to i, and then we return the results. Quick save, let's see what happens. It fulfills the task and I even get the full skill rating. Nice, okay. I didn't expect that after the last two tasks where it was really hard to get the full skill rating, um, at least on the Java side. But I'm content with full skill rating. I don't need any more. Let's see what's here. So we are supposed to return a boolean array apparently of length 10 only that it should be initialized with true instead of false which is the default in Java and also in C sharp. So again I could use the enumerable repeat thing on the C sharp side but I guess on the Java side I have to resolve to explicit things or maybe after my success with the loop in the last task I'm willing to try it out if I can um, use a loop here to just say int i equals zero i smaller than result length length and i plus plus and then we're just going to set result i to true and then we return the results the pattern looks similar to the last time let's see what the skill rating tells us yeah okay this is what i expected in the last task already we get not so good skill rating for this solution I'm going to try real quick whether it gets any better if I say new boolean array and just say true, true. Let me copy this. 4, 6, 8, 10. Let me see what happens now. Why have I would want to write such a program? Oh, and I get the full skill rating for this. Don't know if I agree with that solution. Uh, with that uh, skill judgment, but apparently this time it worked. Nice. Let's go into the next task. Okay, we get in a string and we're supposed to return an array of strings. We get in a string of six A's and we're supposed to return an array of six characters and here it is seven A's and seven a's so it's the string split into the characters which is possible by saying two char array if I'm not completely wrong but now I have probably an array of characters and not an array of strings right yes um, so I could convert it this way but Sadly, the types are incompatible. So I have to do manual conversion char array result 
equals char array of string length. Oh, it's a string, so it's no, it's length, but it's a it's a, a method. And now we go for int i equals zero i smaller s dot length. Uh, I plus plus and then we say that result I is uh, really new string s dot char at I that will not <laughs> receive the full skill rating I suppose but let's wait char was unexpected Expected char was unexpected. Oh, ah, yes, char was unexpected. There's a new missing, and now we can't convert this way. So interesting. Um, so let's try it this way. Cannot implicitly convert from char to string. No, from string to char. What? Ah, sorry. This is supposed to be a string array. Ah, stupid me. This is supposed to be a string array, and then may work. Solves the first test case. Hopefully, solves the next test case too. But would probably not get the full scale rating. Yeah, I expected nothing more. So let me just think whether there's a possibility to do this a little more nicely in Java. It may be that we can do this with a string split actually. So do a split maybe on the empty string. See what happens here. Mm, yeah, good approach in theory, but apparently there's now an empty uh, an empty string at the first and the last position, so it's not it's not exactly what I want. Cannot easily extract in subarray. Um, <laughs> let me think about this. I maybe I can do something with a regular expression here because I, I think that split takes a regular expression. Okay, um, I admit that I just uh, stopped the recording for a short second to look this up on the internet. The solution I found is using a negative look ahead, which was, would look like this to split the string, but I'm not sure if it works. Um, no, now I'm now I get rid of the first empty string, but the last empty string is still there. So this is not the solution to my problem, and don't think I will find anything else here. That's sad. That's sad, so I go back to my loop solution. If any of you have ideas how to do this uh, shorter in Java, please let me know, drop me a comment. Um, for now, I think I'm going to resolve to C sharp again to hopefully get the full skill rating on this task. Let's see what we can do here. If I just say um s dot select so I need to import link system dot link select um actually not sure what happens here so let me see if that's a character already a string already or if it's a character I think it's a character so I'll get a conversion problem right here yeah so I do the neat little convert to string thing 
let's see how many skill points I uh, get for this solution. Personally, I don't think it's very much nicer than the loop solution I implemented in Java. And okay, apparently the <laughs> code hunt game also thinks that this is not much nicer than my loop solution because I get the same skill rating. Let me think about this. What else can I do? I can say as to char array actually to get my array out of it. But now I have uh, the same problem as in Java that this is a char array, not a string array. So I need to convert the characters to strings actually. And if I do that via select, I miss. Yeah, I'm at the same point as I was before, so I can just save the the neat thing here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I implement the same thing again. What does the split function do here? Uh, does this work? Is that this valid? No, actually, I can only split by characters, and characters cannot be empty, so I cannot do the same trick I tried in Java. What else can we do? What else can we do? Actually, I don't have any idea how to do this any better than select char. I mean, I can use to string here and say to array, but that's essentially the same th thing I did before. Interestingly enough, this is what you want it to have. Okay, now I want to I want to have a quick look on the Java side. Yes, thanks. Um, I want to have a quick look to the Java side and see whether I can improve this thing here by saying character to string. Actually, is that I'm not sure if that's possible, but we'll we'll find out soon enough. Apparently it compiles. Let's see what kind of skill rating we get for this solution. We get the full skill rating actually. Interesting, so he didn't like my concatenation with the empty string. Okay, good to know. Let's move on to the next level. I think one more level I can do in this episode. Hopefully last time I said that I failed epically, but this looks easy enough. We get an integer, return an int array, and apparently it's just the numbers in reverse since we did about the same thing before, only, only in non-reversed order. I guess that I should be able to do this in decent speed. Let's just, uh, we can use i actually, i bigger or equal to zero i minus minus and then just say result i equals no we can't we can't I need the string length so it's in j equals zero j is smaller than i and j plus plus and then we say result j is equals i minus j and then we of course return the result let's see what happens here whether we got it right or not apparently i did not get it right because i'm missing the zero funnily enough you're right. I'm missing the zero. So this is plus one and this is a smaller or equals. And then we may get to the solution we wanted to have. Let's see. Okay, first test case passed. Uh, apparently all other test cases passed too and we get a full skill rating for this task. Very nice. Okay guys, so this is it for today. Thanks for watching. 
If you like my videos, please consider to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. I post regular updates on what I do. And if you have any feedback, any critics, any ideas about what I can do, just uh, drop me a comment or send me a message. I'm always glad to hear what you think about my work. And uh, as a last, if you are interested in these videos, you may be interested also in my Let's Develop with Maven and Eclipse or in my Let's Develop Convoy's Game of Life or the other Let's Develop series I'm currently doing. So check out my channel. See you!